Hey, what's going on, ladies and gents? It's your friend, Lin Pro, the content creator. I wanted to make a video about Xiang Ling because a lot of you guys might want to build her because she is an absolutely fantastic unit. Now, Xiang Ling is strong. She's one of the best characters for free to play players or even pay to pay players. And any player that just plays Genshin Impact probably has used Xiang Ling and or building Xiang Ling because of how strong she is. Um, currently, she's a 80 out of 90 obviously you can get her to 90 and she's going to hit like an absolute truck not really that big of a difference in terms of attack percentage or just attack increase in general i like to have her at 80 out of 90 for now um her current stats are all right they could be improved a lot more especially the elemental mastery because she does get ascension from elemental mastery or two elemental mastery can be improved a lot um so currently i have the catch currently the pole arm which is the absolute best for shangling at the current moment of time especially if you are running the four piece of the emblem of severed fate set the set is incredible i highly suggest you guys try this set out if you have shangling obviously there is the whole melt and and vaporize for the crimson witch of flames and also giving you that 15 percent increased in pyro damage bonus you see me change it up and actually use the crimson witch um set just leave a like in this video if we get to 10 likes in on this video i will try my best to get a new set for her and try out the cane cross spear in order for you guys to fully test it out which is also really good however i really like this one because it gives you that energy recharge and you also get energy recharge from the catch if you're using it so it really does add up quite nicely and i have the pyronado at 12 i will be actually crowning this once i get enough materials for that now it's super super strong and the reason is because the pyronado actually keep swinging each swing does more and more damage as it continues it just does so much damage and as you guys can see here it goes to 224 percent however it increases to 238 if you do manage to crown it and have it at level 13 now the whole problem with this is the energy cost we provide almost no elemental energy and energy particle generation she does none of that you would want to have another pyro character on your team someone like bennett to just funnel some sort of particles to her as i could also do that somewhat going to be really really good if you have another character like bennett on the team this will also give you pyro resonance which is really good in general the constellations are actually pretty big the first constellation gives you pyro resistance reduction if you have global's attack just hit once you're going to get in a 15 percent damage bonus basically and this one's not really important you can skip over c2 doesn't matter at all e3 is really powerful because this actually gives you three levels for your pirate nato and c4 is probably the most important because this gives you a 40 percent damage above basically gives you four more seconds on your pirate nato which is massive so it's really good stuff here it allows that cooldown not to be as long. Now, her talents have the, you know, it's not really that great. However, this one is pretty interesting because after using Guoba, you're going to reduce their pyro resistance. And you're going to, after you pick up the chili pepper, you're going to get an attack bonus of 10% for 10 seconds. It's actually pretty good and it would be pretty nice to pick up. Now, her best in slot weapon currently is the catch, as I said. However, if you have another weapon such as the kitten cross spear this could actually be pretty good i used this for a really long time and i actually had a really strong shangling with this because of the elemental mastery over here really powerful however i do not suggest using the this build here if you want to use the kitten cross spear or even dragon's bane highly suggest using the crimson witch of flames for her which is much more powerful for Shang Ling. Um, I could show you guys a little bit of a showcase here using the Shang Ling child comp. Hey, in my previous videos, this is the best comp in the game. I 100% mean it. It's super, super powerful, especially the Kaza. And yeah, I'm going to show you guys that in the domain to, uh, to just show you guys how it works. So Shangling's current stats are 66% crit rate 
with 118.4% critical damage. Her energy recharge is currently at 244.3% and the power damage bonus being at 46.6%. That's pretty good. Her energy recharge is almost perfect. She has a bunch of buffs, especially from the 4P set from this. And I'm just going to show you guys my artifacts here. This one could be improved, obviously, but it's not bad. This one's incredible. This one's also pretty freaking good. Um, <laughs> uh, a lot of these are irreplaceable, but this one is definitely... I can get a flower that's much better than this, but it's not bad because of the increase of 10% on crit rate. This also gave 10% crit rate, energy recharge. All right, currently, as you guys can see, she does not have her burst. And if I use Globa and then I use uh, Bennett and then just river back to her, I could get her ultimate back pretty quickly. And here we go. I'm gonna use all our stuff here. And use this as well. And then we use Child. Which Child is really, really good for the Shangling comp because he just absolutely shreds everything, especially the applying that Hydro in order for you to do vaporize and as you guys can see it finished it pretty quickly uh we're gonna try that one more time because the timer is actually pretty inaccurate all right as you guys can see on my second try here i already have all my ultimates up which is super nice to have especially in you know domain running you just want to speed run them all the time so it's really really good stuff here all right dodge that and we just pop off here. Obviously, Shangling's burst is, um, it does get snapshotted. Once you get the buffs and you use the ultimate, you get the buffs for the entire duration of the actual thing, which is super, super nice. Now, I already have Shangling's buff back already. I can just use it again if I wanted to. And uh, yeah, very, very good stuff. And just one opponent, you know, down. I'm not gonna get the burst back because I used it twice here, but it's fine. So obviously with a character like Xiangling, you're going to need a pretty decent team to go along her extremely strong carry DPS. Now, this is one of my favorite teams in Genshin Impact. You have Tartaglia, you have Kaza, you have Xiangling, you have Bennett. Bennett provides so much for this team, especially for the attack buff for both Xiangling and Tartaglia. You get the healing if you ever need the healing, as well as you get the energy particle generation from Bennett to funnel in Xiangling. Xiangling needs that because she makes almost no particle generation at all. And not to mention, Bennett does provide that pretty easily with his elemental skill. Now, they are pretty good friends here, Xiangling and Bennett. You kind of want them in every single team. So I highly suggest you guys have a Bennett along with your Xiang Ling. I would also say this is one of the best teams for her. So if you have Tartaglia, I highly suggest using Tartaglia with Xiang Ling. Now we have the other team here. This is an incredibly strong melt team for Xiang Ling. Now Rosaria and Kea here really provide a strong cryo support capability here, especially because they apply cryo so quickly with their elemental burst. Now Rosaria is really good here as well for the extra crit that she provides, which is up to 15% which can really help Shangling go with the ultimate amount of damage being dealt. And Melt is also pretty strong for Shangling, especially if you're running the Crimson Witch. So that's going to be something you guys want to be considering when you are building this team. Obviously, Bennett is here as well because he does provide so much for the team. Now, here we have an interesting team because this does not exactly have Bennett in here, but I highly suggest that you guys have Bennett instead of maybe a character like Xing Cho. Um, but I, d I did want to show you guys this because you might want to consider doing a swirl type comp here where sucrose or maybe venti with kazaha or maybe venti as well uh just provide so much swirl damage with pyro swirl and it can really provide an incredible amount of sub dps support as well as shing cho will allow you to vaporize almost every time if you just use your normal packs with shang link now shing cho can be substituted for benetti which i do suggest you guys can get your burst up way more often and yeah that's going to be pretty much it for the teams here all these teams are incredible incredibly good there is another team which i am can't really show you guys because i do not have that character on this account which is the raiden shogun uh quote unquote national team where you would have the raiden shogun xiang Ling with chong yun and xing cho all providing so much support for each other so you can melt all the time so you can use your xing cho's burst raiden's burst xiang ling's burst all of them at the same time really strong stuff obviously you can change chong yun for a character like kazaha or venti even uh, or even sucrose all in all shangling is just uh, such a fantastic character she 
blows through any content in the game especially have a good team running around with especially my tartaglia team here with casa and bennett super powerful stuff here and i highly highly suggest you guys run shangling in your abyss teams because she does perform admirably well but yeah that's going to be it for today's video hopefully you guys did enjoy if you did consider liking this video as well subscribing to the channel let me know what you guys want to see yeah thank you guys so much for watching